the entrance antiphon. These are the ones who, living in the flesh, planted the church with their blood. They drank the chalice of the Lord and became the friends of God. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the Saint Peter and Paul, the Apostles. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of good will. We, we praise, praise you, you, we bless you, we adore you, we, you, we glorify you. you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who on the solemnity of the Apostles Peter and Paul, give us the noble and holy joy of this day. Grant, we pray, that your Church may in all things follow the teaching of those through whom she received the beginnings of right religion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, King Herod laid hands upon some members of the church to harm them. He had James, the brother of John, killed by the sword. And when he saw that this was pleasing to the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter also. It was the Feast of Unleavened Bread. He had him taken into custody and put in prison under the guard of four squads of four soldiers each. He intended to bring him before the people after Passover. Peter thus was being kept in prison, but prayer by the church was fervently being made to God on his behalf. On the very night, before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter, secured by double chains, was sleeping between two soldiers, while outside the door guards kept watch on the prison. Suddenly, the angel of the Lord stood by him, and a light shone in the cell. He tapped Peter on the side and awakened him, saying, Get up. 
quickly. The chains fell from his wrists. The angel said to him, put on your belt and your sandals, and he did so. Then he said to him, put on your cloak and follow me. So he followed him out, not realizing that what was happening through the angel was real. He thought he was seeing a vision. They passed the first guard, then the second, and came to the iron gate leading out to the city, which opened for them by itself. They emerged and made their way down an alley, and suddenly the angel left him. Then Peter recovered his senses and said, Now I know for certain that the Lord sent his angel and rescued me from the hand of Herod and from all that the Jewish people were expecting. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord delivered me from all my fears. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. Second reading, a reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. I, Paul, am already being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have competed well. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. From now on, the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. The Lord stood by me and gave me strength, so that through me the proclamation might be completed and all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was rescued from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil threat and will bring me safe to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. Hallelujah. Alleluia, Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, some say John the Baptist, other Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. Which gospel says we have Today's solemnity presents us the pillars of the beginnings of the church, St. Peter and St. Paul, who differ in experience, have different concepts of proclaiming the good news. One thing that unites them, what they have in common, which is characteristic of these two people is love for Christ and other people, striving for unity and dialogue, sometimes very difficult. St. Paul probably did not meet Christ for his earthly life. That is why his con conversion under Damascus will be so important. He was a Pharisee. He emphasized the proper observance of the law. It has been given to Moses. The Pharisees saw misfortune as a result of non-observance of the law, of unfaithfulness to God. St. Peter confessed his faith with a really warm heart. However, it turned out that even Peter's faith did not withstand the test of his life, and on Good Friday, it broke down. May today's gospel give me a healthy anxiety about whether my faith is in Christ is in everything and is completely authentic. Jesus, I believe in you sincerely, but only you can give me this grace so that I may believe in you with all my heart. We heard in today's gospel that the Lord Jesus gave Peter the keys of his kingdom that he even said to him whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth shall be lost in heaven Jesus did not say empty words if he said such words to Peter he undoubtedly gives Peter and then his successors special gifts of the Holy Spirit. That each of them would be an authentic and infallible instrument of his will. After all, these words express that whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. In the life of almost every man and woman comes a moment 
when he or she must answer the question, who is Christ to me? He must stand in truth before himself, but also before other people. It is important that this truth, our confession of faith in him, is not, the, is not a repetition of rules or known slogans, but that it flows straight from the heart. It should be a sincere confession and confirmed with our whole life. Confessing faith in Christ, each of us becomes a rock on which Christ wants to build his church. Let us not be afraid to talk in public about what we believe and who we believe in. Let us not waste the gift that was given to us, but let us cultivate and care for it. Every Eucharist, Holy Communion, personal prayer, fasting and renunciation of sin or pleasure help us to strengthen our faith. Jesus is the one who helps us overcome evil. If you take him into your heart, he will watch over you. Don't be afraid to tell him today, Lord, I love you so much. So, two figures, Saint Peter and Saint Paul are so different and so similar. Both teach us that we can go to the Lord in different ways. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantially the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. You sent your apostles to preach the gospel to all nations. With gratitude, we pray. For our Holy Father and our leaders of our local church, that they reach out to Jesus for support in times of trouble, we pray to the Lord. Lord we pray. For our president, other national, state, and local leaders, that they direct the government of state with vision and strength, we pray to the Lord. For the people of our parish, that they believe more firmly in our church and serve it with greater love and loyalty, we pray to the Lord. Lord. 
For the sake of our parents, that they may receive the healing touch of God, we pray to the Lord. May all our deceased military men and women who died in your love share in your happiness with Mary, our mother, and all your holy ones, we pray to the Lord. For Dorothy Clifkin and Russell Clifkin, for whom this Mass is being offered, and for all the deceased, that they may have eternal life in the love of God, we pray to the Lord. And for all those intentions that we hold in the silence of our own hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, who still leads the church through Saints Peter and Paul, bless each of us and especially our leaders, that like those holy men we celebrate today, we might all value your perfect will above our, our own. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the prayer of the Apostles, O Lord, accompany the sacrificial gift that we present to your name for consecration, and may their intercession make us devoted to you in celebration of the sacrifice. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for by your providence, the blessed apostles Peter and Paul bring us joy. Peter, foremost in confessing the faith. Paul, its outstanding preacher. Peter, who established the early church from the remnant of Israel. Paul, master and teacher of the Gentiles that you call. And so, each in a different way, gather together the, the one family of Christ and re, revered together throughout the world. They share one martyr's crown. And therefore, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, comes in the name of the Lord, both God and the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. This, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured for you and for men for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we, we proclaim your, your death, O Lord, until you come, come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Ronald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Lord, Father, who Lord, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy I kingdom think. come, thy will, will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious in her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your servant. Let us offer each other a sign of that peace. Peace with you. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
the communion antiphon. Peter said to Jesus, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus replied, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. Amen. We pray in solidarity with Catholics around the world. If we cannot receive our Lord at Mass today in the usual manner, let us together make a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable at this moment to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, who have been re renewed by this sacrament, so to live in the Church, that persevering in the breaking of the bread and in the teaching of the Apostles, 
we may be one heart and one soul, made steadfast in your love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. O salutaris hostia, que celi panis hostium, bella premus hostilia, dara verfer Chaplet of Divine Mercy, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I, I trust, trust in you. you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I, I believe, believe in the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit the, the Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, the, the communion of saints, saints the, the forgiveness, forgiveness of sins, the, the resurrection of the body, body and life, life everlasting. everlasting. Amen. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, 
Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Sanctum ego sacramentum, venere murcernui, ed antiquum documentum, novas edatritui, Preste fide supplementum, sansum de pectui, genitori genitoque, los et jubilatio, Sadus amer virtus quoque, sit et benedictio, procedenti abiut roque, comparsit laudatio. You have given them bread from heaven. Having within it all sweetness. Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to reveal the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. 
Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in His angels and His saints. Blessed be God in His angels and in His saints. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All on earth thy scepter claim. All in the heaven above adore thee. In the night, thy vast domain, everlasting is thy reign. In the night, thy vast domain, everlasting is thy reign. 